Hey there, I'm Chris Ponick, Certified Public Accountant, Certified Coach, and the host of the Mastering Your Small Business Finances podcast. And I want to welcome you to this new series that I'm doing on this podcast. My intention is to drop one of these additional episodes every Monday while I continue to provide you with the regular Mastering Your Small Business Finances podcast episodes, which will continue to help you take control of and understand your business finances with topics that ultimately impact your bottom line. I have many business owners, accountants, and other high-stress professionals who listen to this podcast, and I want to get more help out there for individuals like you when it comes to mastering your mindset. I'll be taking a few moments each week to touch on topics that many high-stress professionals are dealing with and provide solutions to help you increase your overall well-being. Because I know your time is valuable, just like the Mastering Your Small Business Finances podcast, my goal is to keep these episodes short and straight to the point, but full of useful information to help you succeed in not only your professional life, but your personal life as well. I get a lot of questions about relationships from my clients. These may be relationships between a friend, partner, colleague, or business relationships. Whatever relationship you have, there are three components, and when you have a full understanding of these components, you'll ultimately see your relationships improve. Often, the problems that my clients run into are the same types of problems that others have. So today, I want to help you understand these concepts so they can help you improve any relationship you have. You may want to apply these tools to a relationship that you're struggling with right now, or keep them in mind so that you can utilize them in the future. Let's dive in. The three concepts and components of a relationship that I want to cover today are, number one, what the other person thinks of you, number two, is what you think about the other person. And number three is what you think about yourself. When we look at the first component of what the other person thinks of you, we can actually break this down even further by what the other person thinks of you and then what you think the other person thinks of you. Today we're diving deeper into what you think the other person thinks of you. The fact is that we really don't know what the other person is thinking. They may say one thing and actually think another, so there's no way that you can truly know what the other person is thinking. And of course, they always have the opportunity to change how they think of you. For this reason, we'll focus on what you think the other person thinks of you. This, along with the second component of what you think about them and what you think about yourself, you'll find all three of these are taking into consideration of what you are thinking or your mindset. Each of these three components can change as well. For example, you may have positive thoughts about any of these one day, and these thoughts could easily change. They could turn from positive to negative or Maybe you start judging or creating other thoughts about them on another day. I want you to know that this is all normal. I also want you to know that when you know that this is all true, when the three components of your relationship with anyone are just what you think they think of you, what you think of them, and what you think of yourself, then You have complete control about the relationship that you have with that other person. The relationship that you have with them exists in your thoughts and in your mind. I know this might be a different way of thinking about relationships, but when you understand that your relationships are created by the thoughts that you think, not the thoughts that the other person thinks, or their actions or behaviors, none of this can have an effect on you until you allow it to impact one of these three components. You have all the control over your relationships in your life. How you're thinking about the relationship is how you're going to feel about the relationship. 
Think about a relationship that you currently have. Let's break it down. What do you think about this relationship? Do you think that you have a good relationship? What do you think about the frequency that you connect with this person? How does this relationship make you feel? What the other person thinks about the relationship doesn't matter because it's how you are thinking about the relationship that's causing you to feel this way about it. It's an interesting concept, isn't it? Ready to dive deeper? If you'd like to continue listening to the rest of this podcast, I invite you to sign up for my free private podcast where I do a deeper dive into this topic on the Mastering Your Mindset Moments podcast for high-stress professionals. When you're busy working in a high-stress profession, it's often hard to accomplish what you truly want in your life. This private podcast offers solutions that you can immediately apply to your life so that you can not only achieve your goals, but increase your sense of purpose, satisfaction, and lead a more fulfilling and enjoyable life. You can sign up at financialadventure.com slash private to hear about the solutions that I provide on this topic. I'll post links to this and other valuable resources for business owners, accountants, and other high-stress professionals where you're listening to this podcast. 